ब्रॉड टू यू बाय एजिलस डायग्नोस्टिक्स हेल्थ टेस्ट की बात आती है तो मैं भरोसा करता हूँ इंडिया लार्जेस्ट डायग्नोस्टिक्स कंपनी एजिलस डायग्नोस्टिक्स खुद को टेस्ट करते रहो Diwali is around the corner bringing bright lights the hours and festive cheer but unfortunately it also brings Delhi's annual smog problem where the city is covered in a thick layer of polluted air this makes breathing fresh air challenging often forcing people to stay indoors hello and welcome to another episode of what the hell Each year around the valleys Delhi's air quality drops dramatically leading to serious health concerns especially for those with existing respiratory issues Right now Delhi's air quality index AQI is above 300 which is classified as very poor To put this in perspective an AQI above 151 is already considered unhealthy meaning Delhi's air quality is more than twice the unsafe limits and could worsen in the coming weeks This issue is just not a result of Diwali celebration Factors like crop burning in nearby states like Punjab and Haryana and winter still air conditions that trap pollutants also contribute to the unhealthy environment. Recently the Supreme Court criticized the government questioning why changes to the Environmental Protection Act are not effectively addressing the pollution problem. Even Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachud mentioned that he had to stop his morning walks due to health risks from the polluted air. This shows that even those in positions of power feel the direct impact of poor air quality and are frustrated by the lack of effective action. So how pollution impacts our health? Well, as winter sets in, pollution becomes more harmful. Although pollution affects everyone, it poses even higher risks for people with asthma, heart conditions and other respiratory issues. Here are some common pollutants in Delhi's air and how they impact health. PM2.5 These particles are extremely small making it easy for them to enter our lungs causing respiratory issues and worsening conditions like asthma and heart disease. PM2.5 can also penetrate the skin leading to skin allergies and other health issues. Another problem is harmful gases. Nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide and sulfur dioxide are gases present in the air that can worsen asthma and allergies. Winter's low wind speed keeps these gases close to the ground intensifying their effects. dust and pollen these common particles can irritate the respiratory system causing symptoms like sneezing coughing and itchy eyes people with dust allergies experience heightened discomfort on high pollution days for those with existing health issues spending extended time outdoors can be very risky health experts advise limiting outdoor activities during peak pollution hours typically in the morning and evening but why does pollution spikes in winters only Delhi's pollution is not a seasonal problem it's a year round issue that becomes particularly dangerous in winters pollution levels surge in october and november due to several reasons like stubble burning farmers in punjab haryana and up burn crops stubble to clear their fields releasing large amounts of smoke and pollutants into the air and this smoke travels to nearby states including delhi another reason is diwali fireworks Diwali celebrations often include fireworks that release harmful chemicals and particles combined with existing pollutants which create sudden spikes in AQI pushing it into severe levels. Another reason is winter still air. In winter, lower wind speed means pollutants remain closer to the ground making the air thicker and harder to breathe. This layer of pollutants can linger for days. So what is government doing? Supreme Court has focused on stubble burning particularly in Punjab and Haryana despite existing rules many farmers continue to burn their fields to clear them quickly although fines are issued but they're often too small to make a significant impact recently the court criticized Punjab for not doing enough and failing to request funds for better crop management equipment the court is set to review this issue again post Diwali but it's clear that much more needs to be done so what can you do to manage this pollution problem Well with pollution levels this high people are looking for ways to protect themselves and their families. One popular solution is buying an air purifier. But does an air purifier actually help with indoor air quality? Well let's see what can an air purifier do. Air purifiers with HEPA filters can trap pollutants like dust, pollen and smoke which is especially helpful for people with asthma or allergies. A HEPA filter is essential if you are considering an air purifier. It helps to decrease common allergens making indoor air safer for allergy sufferers. They're especially useful in homes with pets or for individuals with dust allergies. But what air purifiers cannot do? Well, it cannot remove germs on surfaces. Air purifiers clean the air but do not eliminate germs or bacteria on surfaces. 
Maintaining hygiene practices such as washing hands and cleaning surfaces is very necessary. While purifiers are helpful in rooms with poor ventilation, they do not replace the benefits of fresh air. Ideally, indoor air should be regularly exchanged with fresh outdoor air to maintain balance in humidity and CO2 levels. So is an air purifier worth it? Well, for those living in high pollution areas like Delhi, a HEPA filter air purifier can improve indoor air quality, though it's not a complete solution. Pairing it with other steps like wearing masks, using humidifiers and keeping indoor plants can further improve air quality at home. For those who go outside every day, avoiding pollution entirely is not an option. But you can take steps to reduce its impact. Wear a high quality mask like N99 or FFP2 which has filter. Wearing mask is especially helpful on high pollution days or when AQI levels exceed 200. Winter air is often dry which can irritate the respiratory tract. Using a humidifier at home can make breathing more comfortable and especially useful for people with respiratory issues. Add indoor plants. Some plants like peace lilies, spider plants and Boston ferns can help to purify indoor air by absorbing pollutants and releasing oxygen. Though they cannot eliminate pollution but they can contribute to healthier indoor air. Using air quality apps can help you to stay informed about real-time AQI levels. Planning your day around this information can help you avoid outdoor activities during high pollution periods. As Diwali approaches, let's remember to protect our health while celebrating and following these steps. That's all for today. Keep watching What the Health on FitDuck.